Nat was to replace the outgoing CEO, John Tracy, who retired May 1, 2017. But sources indicate that Nat may have a questionable track record. According to Kaichur News, there were claims that Nat resigned from Trinidad versus Zimbank in late 2014 amidst a major insider trading investigation. During the investigation, several persons were fired and the entire board of state-owned bank resigned as a result. Last month, the Bank of Guyana and Guyana Securities Council both confirmed that they were probing how Nat was named as a GBTI CEO. Also, according to sources, there are regulations in place to compel financial institutions to provide evidence that their managers are fit and proper to hold such positions. However, Nat has decided to decline the position. When Channel 2 Headline News contacted GBTI to ascertain why Nat declines the position, the bank refused to comment on the matter. However, the company will name another candidate for the position sometime shortly. Reporting for Channel 2 Headline News, I'm Esther Sobers.